Hi everyone, here's a quick video on our abstract brush assignment for Photopia and or Photoshop. They're both very similar. Hey, these are some student examples in Photoshop, but they will look very, very similar in Photopia of using custom brushes. You don't just have to have a hard brush or a soft brush. You can have these brushes that have all kinds of types of designs and they're really super simple and easy to use once you know how to download and, and um, load them into Photopia. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. Let's start at the top here. I'm gonna go over a few of the instructions. Um, I do have a size set up for this assignment. It is 1000 by 800 pixels wide, set to 72. I will be reminding you of this. I need lots of layers, use different layers for different colors. Um, and you are going to adjust the opacity of different layers. And if you don't like a layer, you can just turn it off click on the eyeball, right? And I also want you to experiment with layer blending mode. So let's go ahead and figure out how to download brushes and then bring them into Photopia. So I have some brushes already set if you'd like to use by clicking here on the assignment, download brush files here. Let's go ahead and give that a click. And it's gonna bring you to my Google Drive uh, that is shared, made public, and allow and allows for you to download these brushes. So you can grab any of these. Actually, you're going to grab multiple. Actually, you might want to grab all of them. And let's just start with, um, we can start with dimension brushes, or maybe start from the, eh, let's start from the top and work our way down. So let's go to Ink Splatter. You're going to right click and download this ABR file. So an ABR file is basically a collection of brushes. So there it downloaded. It is in my Google Drive. We don't need to go find it. I'm actually just gonna go to Photopia and I'll find it from there. So let's jump over to Photopia and we're gonna start a new project right here, start a new project. And again, this new project, you're gonna label it with your initials, your initials, don't use mine. And we're gonna call this brush practice. And I'm gonna put uh, brush practice video just for the sake of this. And the width and the height, I do want this you to start with 1000. Tab, tab on your keyboard, 1000 by 800 pixels wide. Oops, not 8000. 72 pixels per inch, white, and go ahead and click create. And here is our canvas. Now, what I am gonna do first is I'm going to actually change, I'm gonna start with a black background. You can start with whatever color you want. Now this background layer, I cannot uh, use just yet because it is locked. So I need to click on the padlock here to unlock it and I'm gonna change it to black. Um, and so let's go ahead and switch these. I'm gonna switch this so black is my foreground color and to, really easy to change this right here under the gradient, under the gradient tool. If you click and hold, you can change it to the paint bucket tool and let's select the paint bucket and just since I'm on the paint bucket, I have it set as black. Just click anywhere on your canvas and it'll drop it, change it all to black. All right, well, let's add a first layer. So I'm gonna add one layer. This is where I'm gonna start my first brush. Now let's go ahead and load these brushes up. Let's go ahead and find them. So I'm gonna click on my brush tool and where you load them is you come up to your brush op options right here. This is your brush settings. Click the little drop down. And they don't make it real easy to find, but there's this little triangle that has some extra setting and extra options. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna to go to load ABR. The ABR files are your brush packs, right? So I'm gonna load ABR. Now I have to find the file that I downloaded. So make sure you download those brushes first that I talked about earlier in this video. Let's scroll down and here is my ink splatter ABR file. Go ahead and click on that and go ahead and click open. Now it is asking me if I want to load these brushes next time I use the editor. And I'm gonna click no or cancel. I don't want them to load it. Um, I'm gonna be loading a lot of brushes for this project, right? So my brushes are gonna be full. I'm gonna probably have dozens and dozens of brushes. Now in Photoshop, there's a real easy way to reset it to your default brushes and get rid of them. I have not been able to figure that out in Photopia yet. If you find it, leave a comment or let me know on how to reset your brushes back to the default. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click cancel right here. So I could basically just close Photopia, come back the next time when I reopen it and all my brushes will be gone that I've loaded, okay? So I'm gonna click cancel here, but it still will load them. There you go, my brushes are added. Now let's go ahead and find them. 
click back to the drop arrow. Now our basic brushes are up here at the top, at the top, the defaults, the ones that come with the program. And here are our ink splatters. All right, there are, and anytime you load brushes, they get added to the bottom. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna click on this one. Let's go and check this out. Okay, it is literally just an ink splatter, all right? So I'm gonna change, let's choose a color. Let me click on my foreground. And I'm gonna do like a, let's just go with something nice and bright for some contrast, click okay. Now you can use left bracket and right bracket to increase right bracket, right? Left bracket, left bracket, left bracket to make it smaller. And we're gonna come over here and let's just go ahead and click and boom, there you got an ink splatter. So if you wanna do easy ink splatter, they have these brushes that do it all by themselves. All right, now let's just for sake of showing you how to do this again, I'm gonna add a new layer, but let's go back. I'm gonna download some more brushes. This is, this is the uh, shared Google Drive. Let's go to abstract. Let's go ahead and download these. Again, so the process is right click, download, okay? downloads it you can see it's going to download it to my google drive download complete let's go and close this notification go back to photopia and let's load these brushes all right so again i'm on my brush tool already i'm going to uh, click on the drop down for the settings go to the small triangle right here and then load abr and we're going to find the uh, ABR file that I just downloaded called abstract. There you go. Abstract ABR. Click on that. Let's go ahead and open it. And those will be added below. Those are going to be added below. So let's come here. So here's my default brushes. Here's my ink splatter. And then here's the abstract ones. Okay. So let's just go and check these out. And this is basically going to be an exploration assignment. Let's go and click on this one. Let's go ahead, uh, let's, let's check anyone, just for, it doesn't matter. We might like these ones, might not. Let's check them out. I'm gonna make this larger and I'm going to change it to black and white. So I can actually just click here, hit X on my keyboard to switch it. And I wanna rotate this one. So that's, I'm gonna click on my brush settings toolbar right here where it says bra for brush. And you can change the angle right here, actually. Let me change the spacing out. There I can see this is kind of like a downward arch. Let's go ahead and change the angle. And let's flop it over 180 degrees, all right? More or less. Actually, I'm gonna kind of have it cup the ink splatter. All right, so there's the angle. Let me click out of here. Oops, oh, sorry. I thought that would fly away. If I click, no, let me close it right here. And I'm gonna go Control Z, Control Z. And, Let's just make this bigger and let's just kind of make this anywhere. This is the idea. All right. Now, what I do want to see for this assignment, I do want to see your lab layers labeled. So I'm going to call this uh, green splat one and I'll just call this uh, double click. Let's go just call it white one. Now, the reason I do these on different layers is because let's say I want to get rid of this or you know, I, I don't want the, this white. Wow, that's kind of an interesting. I don't even know what to call that. If I don't like it, you turn it off. Don't like the green one, turn it off. Okay. If you think it's too strong, we could lower the opacity. We could lower the opacity of this. And I could do that individually. So if I want the white, I can adjust that. And the green, I could also adjust that one. Okay. But the, I could only adjust them individually if they are on individual layers, okay? So again, this is pretty much just gonna be an exploration, a creative assignment. Let's go back and check out some of these examples here. Remember, so this is just one, learning how to load brushes, two, um, just being creative and coming up with something cool. Uh, hopefully this is relaxing and just coming up with some type of abstract art. Now, if you wanna take this one step further, there's my brushes right here, but if you would like to, for this assignment this year, I would actually, if you want to find your own brushes, go to Google, type in free Photoshop brushes, and you'll find that there's thousands and thousands of free brushes that people make available, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna to go to brusheasy.com, and whatever you are looking for, you know, uh, leaves, textures, nature, abstract, blue, all kinds of different brushes, um, 
So right now I am in brushes and you can see, um, you know, there's these smoke, fog, lightning bolts, bubbles. And all you do is you load these brushes and you just, we're, I'm not clicking and dragging. I just click, boom, and there's the brush. I mean, there's all kinds of, let's go to leaves. Uh, if you want a horse, birds, trees, grass, anything you want, uh, there's a leaf. How about you? Do you want a horse? You want to not have to type a, you want to have a horse in the background of yours? You can find horse brushes. There you go. Um, if you want to, so these, you can just basically click on them. You're going to download this. Oh, some of these are premium. I'm guessing this ones say premium. You have to pay for it, but there are a lot of free ones. All right. You want different. Oh, here we go. Unicorns. Let's click on this. And you're going to download this brush and then, um, load it into Photopia the same as the other ones. All right. Hope you enjoy this. Please let me know if you have any questions.